61A, lecture number eight, announcements. It's February, homework three is due next Tuesday. We will have a homework party on Monday evening in Corey Hall. I do recommend that you take a look before then. These homework questions are a good way to review some of the lecture material that may have happened while you were working on the hog project. Midterm one is next Thursday. It will cover material all the way through today's lecture. Monday's lecture will focus on uh, exam review questions and some details about Python that you don't need to know for the exam, but relate to what we've been studying about functions. Next Wednesday, we won't have lecture at all to give you some time to prepare for Thursday's exam, which is held in the evening. Please try to arrive by 8 p.m. We'll distribute exams and materials around then and start the exam at 8.10 p.m. and it will run until 10.10 p.m. You will receive a seating assignment via email on Wednesday of next week. Please fill out this form by Sunday if you have a special seating request, for example, if you want a left-handed desk. To help you review, student groups will hold two different review sessions for you on Saturday, one from 5 to 7 and the other from 7 to 10. Uh, they have a little bit of a different structure, so please read the announcements about each. And the exam itself covers all the topics that we've talked about so far, which correspond to parts of the textbook. So here's a description of the parts of the textbook that you need to know. What can you bring? You do not need to bring anything except for writing utensil and your UC Berkeley student ID. However, you can also bring one sheet of notes front and back that you create yourself. This sheet must be handwritten. That's so that you create it yourself and you have the experience of writing things down by hand, which you must do during the exam. Please don't share your sheet with anyone else. I mean, you can show it to someone else, that's fine, but you can't make photocopies of it or manually transcribe someone else's sheet of notes. You gotta write stuff down yourself. You'll also receive the midterm one study guide along with your exam. What's that? It's a two page printed version of all the slides that I decided were important from the semester so far. Even got Fibonacci there to keep you company. So here's all the evaluation and execution rules for every kind of statement we've seen so far. Um, some examples of environment diagrams and some things you haven't seen yet, that's because they're in today's lecture. Okay, so we'll provide this with your exam. It's more useful if you read it in advance. We'll have no lecture on Wednesday and next week there will be a lab assignment and we'll hold lab but we will not hold discussion. Instead, we'll be holding an exam. If you've experienced a lab checkoff already, which happens during lab to check your understanding on the previous lab, we won't have those this week. So if you want to complete the lab assignment at home, you're allowed to do that and you won't miss anything. But I always think it's better just to come to live lab. The staff have compiled a great deal of resources to help you out. You've got past exams, you've got Python tutor, We've got some slides on how to think about environment diagrams and what would Python display questions, some notes on recursion, some more notes on recursion, etc. You don't need to feel compelled to read all of this material, but if you find something particularly useful, post about it on Piazza, or if you have questions about any of this material, feel free to post and you'll get your questions answered. In particular, I do recommend taking a look at a past exam or two in order to get a sense of the kinds of questions that you'll be asked.